Today, we're tackling the big question. iWork versus Microsoft Office. We'll break down the steps for document creation, spreadsheets, and presentations in both suites while comparing their functionalities. By the end, you'll have a clearer idea of which suite is the right fit for you. Let's get started. But before we begin, let's talk about pricing and features. Microsoft Office is available as a subscription through Microsoft 365, with prices ranging from $69.99 per year for personal use to $99.99 per year for families, and business plans start at $6 per user per month. Alternatively, you can make a one-time purchase of Microsoft Office Home and Student 2021 for $149.99, which includes Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, but lacks updates and cloud-based features. Microsoft Office offers a comprehensive suite of apps including Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote, and Access. The 365 subscription also provides OneDrive cloud storage for easy collaboration. It's available on Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android, and it includes browser-based Office Online versions iWork comes pre-installed on most Apple devices and is available as a free download from the Mac App Store. iWork includes Pages for word processing, Numbers for spreadsheets, and Keynote for presentations. These apps integrate seamlessly with Apple's ecosystem and work with iCloud for easy file storage and sharing. Native to macOS and iOS, iWork files can also be edited online via iCloud.com using a browser, but advanced compatibility with non-Apple devices is limited. Cost, Microsoft Office requires a subscription or one-time payment, while iWork is entirely free. Features, Microsoft Office offers more advanced features, such as Excel's Pivot Tables, Word's Macros. While iWork emphasizes a user-friendly, aesthetically focused interface. Collaboration. Microsoft 365's cross-platform support and cloud integration make it more versatile for collaboration. While iWork excels within the Apple ecosystem. Open Microsoft Word. On the Start screen, select New Blank Document, or choose from a variety of templates. Once in the editor, use the toolbar at the top to adjust formatting, font styles, and sizes. Save your document by clicking File, then Save As, and select your desired file format. Open Pages and click on Create Document. Choose either a blank document or select from Apple Design Templates. Use the Format panel on the right to customize your text and layout. The drag-and-drop interface makes adding images and text boxes easy. Save the document by clicking File, then Export To to choose the file format. Microsoft Word provides an extensive range of features, including track changes and mail merge which are especially useful for professional and collaborative work. However, this may feel overwhelming to beginners. Apple Pages focuses on simplicity and aesthetics. Its intuitive interface is excellent for designing visually appealing documents. However, it lacks some advanced features like macros and in-depth collaboration tools found in Word. Open Excel and select New Workbook or a template, like budgets or calendars. Enter data into cells. To apply formulas, click on a cell type, equal sign followed by the formula, such as equal sign sum a 1 colon a 10. Use the insert tab to create charts and tables, providing various data visualization options. Save your work via file. Save A's, choosing from formats like XLSX or CSV. 
open numbers, click create document, and pick either a blank canvas or an attractive pre-made template. Numbers use a flexible canvas where you can freely place tables. Enter data and use the equal sign sign and put formulas. Numbers format panel automatically appears on the right for easy chart creation and table styling. Save by clicking File, then Export To. To select a format like Numbers, XLSX, or PDF. Excel offers advanced data analysis tools like pivot tables, VLOOKUP, and a variety of complex formulas, making it a powerhouse for financial modeling, data analysis, and business planning. On the other hand, Numbers has a more user-friendly, design-focused interface, great for visualizing data creatively. It lacks some of Excel's advanced data functions, but it's excellent for personal finance, simple data tracking, and aesthetically pleasing reports. Launch PowerPoint and select Blank Presentation, or one of the many built-in templates. Add slides using the New Slide button. Customize layouts, text, and images using the top toolbar. Use the Transitions and Animations tabs to add effects between slides or to elements within slides. To present, select Slideshow and click from beginning or use Presenter View for notes. Save your presentation through file and click Save As. Choosing formats like PPTX or PDF. Open Keynote and choose from Apple's professionally designed templates. Use the Add Slide button and drag elements around the canvas to customize text, images, and shapes. Keynote offers elegant animations through the Animate panel, including effects like Magic Move for seamless slide transitions. To present, click Play at the top of the screen with options for presenter notes. Save via file and click Export. Two, to choose between key, PPTX, or PDF formats. PowerPoint is feature-rich with tools for collaborative editing, adding media, and creating in-depth animations. It's the go-to for most corporate environments due to its versatility. And Keynote excels in visual storytelling offering smooth animations and beautiful transitions with a minimal learning curve. It's ideal for presentations that emphasize design and simplicity. Use OneDrive for online storage and collaboration. Save documents to OneDrive, then click Share to invite others to view or edit in real time. Microsoft's Office Online, Word Online, Excel Online, PowerPoint Online enables browser-based editing allowing for simultaneous multi-user collaboration, regardless of device or location. iWork apps use iCloud for syncing files across Apple devices. You can share documents using Collaborate in Pages, Numbers, or Keynote, allowing others to edit in real time if they have an Apple ID. While iWork's collaboration features are improving, they're not as robust as Microsoft Office, especially for multi-platform environments. Microsoft Office offers superior cross-platform collaboration, allowing real-time editing from almost any device through OneDrive and Office Online. iWork works best within the Apple ecosystem, offering smooth collaboration for Mac and iOS users. However, its functionality can be limited when working with non-Apple platforms. For document creation with advanced editing tools, choose Microsoft Word. For simple, beautifully designed documents, Pages is a great option. For complex data analysis, Excel is your best bet. For visually appealing yet simple spreadsheets, Numbers works well. If you need professional presentations with robust features, go with PowerPoint. For sleek, design-focused slides, Keynote is a strong choice. Microsoft Office offers a more versatile solution across multiple platforms. 
while iWork works seamlessly within the Apple ecosystem. So, there you have it. Both iWork and Microsoft Office offer fantastic tools tailored to different needs and preferences. iWork is perfect for Apple users who love simplicity and elegance, while Microsoft Office is a comprehensive suite packed with advanced features and cross-platform support. Which one do you prefer using, and why? Drop a comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials.